it was to me it was just talk and it wasn't uh, you know it wasn't from the art what I sense is they try to sell a product sometimes yeah, exactly. they're trying to sell sell a product and that that part of it I don't need I don't yeah. need to be sold something if you've got something in your heart you know give it give it to me I'll, I'll listen to it right or wrong and to some degree that's what I'm doing with Paul it's, it's in his heart. There's no question that this is coming from Paul's heart. It's coming from his head. I don't understand it all. There are parts that I, I blatantly can't jump on board with. Um, but some of it makes perfect and absolute sense. Some of it is consistent with my beliefs. Some of it is out there. It's just plain out there, Paul. And um, that's just how I see it. In part one, see all of the five dimensions that exist in the physical world. Body, mind, soul, time, and God. The basic building block concept of gematria is what I call the solographic principle. The principle behind it is that your soul only speaks one language, pure truth. And because of that, you should travel through life in the universe, soul first, body second, and mind third. This, of course, goes against everything we are taught and experience in the physical world. You are considered weak, crazy, or irresponsible if you let your inner spirit guide you from mundane, everyday things. That is meant for special times like marriage, death, and childbirth. But in actuality, the opposite is true. It turns out there is an invisible inverse geometric spiritual universe leading us that our physical universe follows. Most people are, want to stay in their own little cubicle, you know, and where life is safe and, uh, you know, not, not venture out into the, the world of the unknown or the scary and that kind of stuff. But Paul's taking it upon himself to, you know, get out there. Put it out there. The five dimensions of the invisible inverse universe are past, present, future, faith, and trust. The whole concept of Jamatri is that there's a specific vibration to everything meaningful in the universe. Once you tap into your subconscious and mind's eye, you can discover for yourself what the organic pure truth to everything is. And you can finally lead your life based on your own truthful ideology instead of someone else's false beliefs. What's driving you to do this? Um the energy of it, it turns out we're all energy. Like, spirituality, positive, negative, it's really just energy. And it's what drives the universe, and it's what powers the sun, and everything else is the energy of the geometry all lining up. How does the math confirm your thesis? Whether it's music, because you know, creativity and music is mathematical. And everything that happens in the universe is these three energy forces, positive, negative, or spiritual. And it turns out your soul is like a lens. And if you focus your lens up, soul first, it separates pure positive into pure negative. Y your intuition and your subconscious and your mind's eye think soul first. And your mind is negative. It turns out like your body and your mind are a plus and a minus charge. And your soul is a zero charge. And that... You act positive with your body and you think negative with your mind. So you're actually not supposed to be thinking at all. It's kind of a grounding function. And using our souls as computers and plus, minus, and zeros is what human evolution is. It turns out our language is really sort of antiquated and there's a lot of words that don't mean anything. Words used to sort of mathematically mean something. When it was originally conceived, the three-letter word for God had a numeric value, including a set of equations that were designed to be used as a three-dimensional filter to separate the three per energy forces of the universe, positive energy, negative energy, and spiritual energy. But it turns out that just a three-dimensional existence in a filter is not enough anymore. We are evolving as a species at this very moment. So since there are now ten dimensions, the concept of God remains, but the word itself must be updated to include ten symbols. That word is Dermatria. The last two symbols, the exclamation points, represent faith and trust. Dimension 11 is personal enlightenment, and that's when you see in all ten dimensions, in all three energy forces. Dimension 12 is R12. That's when everybody sees all 10 dimensions and all three energy forces. That's collective conscious, and that's where we're headed. That's where we're going. Welcome to the future. Welcome to Gematria.